That is why I know that you have to change your mentality if you want to change your life. You have to stop doing the things that poor people do. Poor people make decision after decision that keeps them poor. Because, fellas, being poor is a state of mind. It is not a, it's not a permanent situation. <clears throat> Ice in my veins, I've been driving this train, years in this lane. This Gentlemen, greetings and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to talk to you all about why you need to stop doing what poor people do. Fellas, what are some things that poor people do? Well, poor people love to spend money on things that they can't afford. Poor people love to go out and purchase a fifty or sixty thousand dollar car when they make thirty five grand a year. Poor people love to go on vacations, fancy vacations to remote places and put it on credit and put it on their credit card because they know good and well they don't have the cash, they don't have the money to actually pay for those things. But you know what these individuals care most about? How they look. So they can, they can have a couple of cool Instagram stories in cool locations. And so they can look like they're living a lifestyle that they're really not actually living. That's what poor people do. And when I say poor people, I'm specifically referring to the poor mentality, the mentality of a poor person, not necessarily the dollar amount that they have, although that obviously plays a big factor. But fellas, I see it far too often. I see it every goddamn day. People living way above their means. People spending money that they don't actually have. And I never really could understand this, even though I used to be one of those same individuals way back in the day myself. Although not to the extreme that some people are and do. Because deep on the inside, fellas, back in the day when, when I had all that debt and all, oh boy, I had a whole mountain of debt from college and cars, etc. If you've been following my story and my channel for a while, if you haven't and you know nothing about my, my past or my story, oh, trust me when I tell you I've came a long way and I've made a lot of the mistakes that many of you all are out there making right now. And that is why I know, that is why I know that you have to change your mentality if you want to change your life. You have to stop doing the things that poor people do. Poor people make decision after decision that keeps them poor. Because fellas, being poor is a state of mind. It is not a, it's not a permanent situation. Some of you all out there, you think that you're in a permanent, permanent situation. Nothing's ever permanent. Everything is always changing. You can completely change your life in a three to five year period if you're willing to put the work in. That's the key though. Are you willing to make the sacrifices? Are you willing to uh, actually do the work? Are you willing to go to your career, your day job for eight to 10 hours? And then after a hard ass day's work, then go to a second job for another four to six hours. Are you willing to do that five days a week? Then are you willing to work another freelance job or some other type of side hustle or restaurant or server or Ubering? Are you willing to do something else that's going to bring you in more income so that you can start to change your life? Or are you the type of individual who would rather just sit there and complain about your circumstances and wait for a handout from the government or wait for somebody to forgive your student loans or wait for some type of windfall from your 85 year old grandma who's getting ready to die. Is that your plan, fellas? You're gonna sit around and wait on a windfall from your 85 year old grandma? That's your plan? That sounds like a shitty plan 
to me. You're going to stay broke. But you do have the power within you to change those things. Stop buying things you can't afford. Change your mentality. Start to sacrifice some things now so that later you can make the choices that you really want to make. You have to, you have to build up a little bit of momentum in your life. And that first starts with a thought, with a vision, fellas. You know, I'm constantly tying in the law of attraction and the way you think and the way you feel and turning those things into realities in your real life. Your subconscious mind plays a huge role in the things that you actually do and the things that you actually create. You create your own reality by the way that you think, fellas, by the way that your mind works. I always tell this story because I like to illustrate what is possible. But fellas, when I was sitting back there with $136,000 worth of debt and I was in the hole and I didn't see any way out, I couldn't see myself getting out of that situation. So what did I do? I continued to make more bad decisions. I continued to spend money that I didn't actually have. I continued to go on vacation. I continued to go out on dates. I continued to go to the bar. I continued to go to the club because my I had a poor, I had a poor people's uh, mentality. I had a poor mindset. I thought, well, hmm, I'm already in the hole, so I might as well keep on digging. Until one day, it all caught up with me and I felt overwhelmed. And I said, I have to change my fucking life. I gotta do something about this. Not only do I not wanna be broke anymore, but I want to be rich. I want to be wealthy. Being rich is having a lot of money. Being wealthy is having your time. Being wealthy is having so much money that your money is working for you so that now your time is freed up. And that's why I care so much about financial independence, fellas, not only for myself, but for all of you all as well, because we get our time back. Now we have choices. Now we can, we can do what we want in life. And again, fellas, that's something that is achievable for each and every one of you, but it's going to take work. You have to stop doing what poor people do. You have to get on a budget, fellas. You have to know where every single dollar is going. It, it literally boggles my mind that some of you all are out there living in a way in which you don't know where your money's going. When you get paid, I'm assuming you get paid every other Friday, that's pretty standard. When you get paid, you just take out your card and you just start swiping and swiping and swiping. And you don't have no plan for your money. You don't have no plan for it. And then you're completely shell-shocked when three days into that, that new pay cycle, your entire check is gone. And now you're broke for the next 11 days because you spent it all on that first Saturday, going out to eat, going on a date, going shopping, going here, going there, buying new shoes. And now you're broke. You haven't saved a penny. You haven't put a dent in any of your debt because you continue to do things that poor people do. But at what point are you gonna learn? You have to create the budget. Being successful with your money, it all starts from the very basic foundational principle of making a budget and knowing where your money's going. It's a money plan. I think a lot of times people feel restricted by a budget. Budgets are not restricting. Budgets are just the, the smart way to help you build up your wealth, fellas. And the thing is, when it comes to the budget, I'm so big on the budget because it allows you to see your money on paper and in the different categories that it needs to go in. And so if your goal is to pay off debt or to save, you can clearly see how much you have, 
how much you can put into each category and you can plan accordingly. So you can say, okay, I will be debt free completely if I just keep doing this every single day, every week, every month, if I keep doing this, following this plan, I will be debt free in two and a half years. Then if I continue to just keep doing that same thing in another two and a half years, I'll have a hundred grand saved or invested or whatever. So that means in a five year period, you have completely changed your life. You have paid off all your debt and you have built up a huge nest egg to now you can save and invest and pretty much do what you want. Five years, it's not that hard. I shouldn't say it's not that hard. It's not that difficult to understand. It's hard to apply because most of you motherfuckers have no self-discipline. And that's really all what it comes down to. It comes down to self-discipline, which many of you guys, you don't even have. And that's the biggest problem that you're going to face. Because if you had the self-discipline, you would stop doing all this yippity-yap, chippity-chap, all that talking, and start doing some applying. Start putting these things into action. It takes a lot of work to get yourself out of being poor. But it all starts with your mindset and your mentality. You have to believe that you can be someone who changes their life. You have to believe that you have to be able to see yourself getting out of that situation and being able to thrive. And it is possible, no matter where you're at right now, no matter where you're starting, no matter what you've been through, it is always possible to turn your situation around. No matter how young you are, no matter how old you are, it's always possible. Can you see it? Can you think it? Can you feel it? Can you apply it? But you gotta stop doing what poor people do. You gotta stop making excuses. You gotta stop hanging out with other people who have a poor mentality and a poor mindset, who are keeping your ass broke. You gotta stop hanging out with people who all they wanna do is go out and spend up all their money and hang out with people who are a little bit more thrifty, people who live a frugal lifestyle. Fellas, I could have upgraded my lifestyle at any point within the last five or six years, but I have yet to do so. I live in the same six, 700 square foot apartment that I lived in seven, eight years ago when I was broke as a joke. And I have yet to upgrade my lifestyle. Why do you think that is, fellas? It's because I am someone who understands the importance of living below my means. What does it mean to live below my means? That means I'm spending less money than I make, which means since my expenses are so low and my income is decently high, that gap, all that money in the middle is mine to keep and to save and invest to build my wealth over time so that at some point, hopefully sooner rather than later, although I don't care how long it takes, so that at some point I will have financial freedom. That is why I choose to live frugally, fellas. Do you think that I just don't want any nice things? No, that's not the case. And I do have a few nice things. But generally speaking, I don't spend a lot of money on my clothes. I, I find deals. I wear a damn near a black t-shirt every day. I do spend a few dollars on, on shoes, but nothing crazy. And everything that I buy is a well thought out decision. It's well calculated. I think about these things and I don't break my budget for anything or anyone. 
If I say that I have X amount of dollars for the next two weeks, when it comes to my um, entertainment spending, that's all I have. That's all I have, fellas. And that's all I'm willing to spend. I don't care if I have $100,000 sitting in my savings account. If on paper it says that I only have $25 left to spend this week, guess how much money I have? I have $25. That hundred grand that's in my savings account, it ain't getting touched. That's the mentality, fellas. That is the mentality. That is how you get rid of the poor mindset and you start to win with your money. And when you're winning with your money, you're able to win in life because now you have choices, fellas. And this is what I want for you guys. I could easily be that person who says, oh, I have all this money in my savings account. Well, let me just, let me go buy a car. Let me go, let me go, go on a shopping spree. I'm going to go to the mall. No, fellas, that money is untouchable. That money is being used to make more money. That's the wealthy mentality. So you need to stop doing what poor people do. And guys, I know today's video was a little bit of a ramble, but I just had to get my, my thoughts out there about this. And every now and again, I'm going to do a video like this just to remind you all that you got to get rid of the poor mindset. It's possible for all of you to do. And the key is to know where your money's going. And that's the budget. Make a weekly, bi-weekly, or a monthly budget, fellas. And you are going to be well on your way to winning with your finances. So remember, fellas, you are the prize. Continue to work on yourself day in and day out. Fellas, if you found any value in this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. Check out your boy's Patreon for exclusive weekly content. And fellas, I'll see you all on the next video. Peace. I withdraw on the things I make. I turn flaws into flawless traits. I build tall, never cap in space. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, la, 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 la.